it is the airsoft here today we're presenting a new video this time it's of my airsoft loadout that's right this is the loadout i use when i go to an airsoft event or a game now i actually have quite a lot of gear on i i started airsoft around a year and a half ago somewhere around there and i have to say i'm fairly impressed with the gear that i'm wearing since i started off for the sake of the video i don't have gloves on i wear condor striker gloves in black but besides that, we're going to start off from the top of the head all the way to the bottom. Alright? So first off, I have a Matrix Mitch 2000 helmet in tan. It comes with the NVG mount and the arc rails. So it was pretty good. I also wear these uh, blackjack goggles. I actually got these a while ago when they used to be like $25 or $30. They went up to like the $50 range. Sorry for you guys that want the fly jacks, but they're pretty damn good. Non they don't fog at all, and I play indoors a lot. Putting that aside, here is the um, helmet. Now, I just got this helmet recently, around, let's say, two months ago, around there. It's a pretty good helmet. It protects from those, um, so I say this word, headshot that they do in airsoft, you know, point blank. They really hurt. And uh, I used to wear a beanie, but I wear this. Pretty good helmet. If, you're in, if you can afford the helmet, it's like an $80 helmet. Really, I like it, how it goes with the loadout and everything. It's a good price, but yet again, it's kind of pricey for a helmet. Here you can see the NVG mount. It's a metal one, pretty good. The arc rails on the sides. And pretty much that's it I can say from the what was included besides the Velcro. I'm gonna show you the patch that I have. On the left side, I have the Mexican flag right here. Because I'm Mexican, of course. On the right side, I have the United States flag in black and white. And on top of the helmet, I have a radiation helmet, I guess you can say, radioactive. I didn't. I actually had to get this patch, like custom made almost. So I don't know if you can find it, but you can. It's a really good patch. Now, I'm gonna show you what I carry normally around the chest area. The vest is a Condor MOPC, pretty good helmet, I mean, excuse me, pretty good vest. Got it for around uh, 60 bucks around there, can't really remember. I carry E-Mags, right here, 75 round E-Mags, pretty cheap, 9 bucks. Uh, plastic though, I don't know if you guys are into that, but pretty good. I dropped them a couple times, they survived. Right here, I got a N7 patch. Now, for those of you guys that play Mass Effect, you know you can only get this through the limited edition, so if you guys don't want it, try finding it. Right here, I also got a Condor Medic Patch, uh, Evike Patch, good patch, favorite store. Right here, I carry uh, an extended mag for my pistol that I will show you later on. By the way, if you're wondering, these are uh, triple kangaroo patch pouches that I also picked up with the vest. On the side, I also have... Uh, Triple Condor uh, M4 mag pouches, that's right. On the back, I carry a Condor dump pouch, pretty good, for like 15 bucks. Right here, I believe this is an NC Star battle belt. Uh, I got it from an old vest that I had, you know, I kept it. By the way, I got it missed out. Right here, I carry a cold steel training knife, pretty good for those knife kills, close range. And since we're around the neck area, I got this uh, scar. I forgot what the really color now. Oh, Shimok. There we go. Sorry. Now, if we go down here, as you can see, I am wearing shorts right now. It's pretty hot outside. Now it's getting kind of windy. I don't wear shorts with that are blue. I normally wear black because I wear a long sleeve shirt that's also black. One knee pad. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing one knee pad, it's thanks to this. Condor Tornado Holster. This is where I holster my sidearm. It is a KJW Accelerator. Pretty good pistol. Now, I also carry a KJW mag here. Carry one up here, one in the chest area. Pretty good. Down here, I have Rothko boots, I believe. I know Rothko is kind of a cheap quality and everything. I went to a big five store, looked at the Magnums, they didn't have them. Got these for like 20 bucks. 
didn't really care. They were surviving pretty good so far. Now, I'm going to show you my primary. The primary is a GMP Silver Bullet. Now, if you guys don't know what this rifle is, it's actually a GMP M4 Navy SEAL CQB. It's just like spray painted, like silver, I, I would say. Pretty good gun. Uh, rate of fire is really good on a 9.6. Recommend it. I got it off a daily deal for a 210. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I don't know if this is just an issue of mine, but the battery kind of runs out in a couple hours. Must be because of the GMP high speed motor, but don't really care. Just have some simple attachments, vertical grip, two uh, rail covers, and a simple flashlight. That's it. Um, that's probably it for the CQB loadout. Thank you guys for watching. This has been ATZ Airsoft with the CQB loadout.